Hi, I'm Janelle from My Teaching Cupboard and I'd like to teach you how to do some wet felting. We're going to make a wet felted play mat. First you place the towel onto the table. Then we get the bubble wrap and you place that into the centre of the towel so that the bubbles are facing up. Next place the semi felted fabric base piece on top of the bubble wrap. Remember that this is going to shrink to about two thirds of the original size. Spread an end of the silver out until it's about a hand's width. Hold the bottom of the silver firmly with one hand and with the other hand you grip the tip of the silver between the palm and the fingers. Then you gently pull a tuft away. Now you lay that tuft of silver onto the top right corner of your semi felted base. Continue to lay the tufts onto the base side by side. Make sure they're just touching. Work in rows across the width of the semi felted base until the entire base is covered. This is your first layer. Now the second layer is made in the same way but the tufts are placed in the opposite direction at right angles to the first layer. Start at the top left this time and lay your tufts in columns across the width. Lay down the third layer in the same direction as the first layer. Finally on the top layer this is where you add the decorative embellishments. Add different coloured silvers to show different landscape changes. These can be added in any direction or any design that you like. You can use embellishments like silk tops, wool felt fabric pieces, yarns and fibres. You can add all of these things to this layer. When you're happy with your design, you very carefully place a piece of tulle over the top of the entire piece. Now into the ice cream container add a tablespoon of Lux soap flakes and half fill it with hot not boiling water. Just stir it a little bit to help the flakes dissolve. Next scrunch up the plastic bag and dip it into the hot soapy water. Then you gently stamp it onto the tulle that's covering the completed bat. Continue this process until all the wool is just mildly wet. You don't want it really soaking wet but you do want all the layers damp. Hold down one side of the tulle with one hand while you firmly push the plastic bag across the tulle. Push away from your holding hand. You keep repeating this around the entire bat until the piece has all flattened and has absorbed all the water. You'll know when to stop adding water as the bat will feel flat rather than fluffy. Now it's time to start rubbing the plastic pad more vigorously in small circular motions over the piece. Don't forget the edges and do this for about 7 to 8 minutes. Now carefully peel away the tulle from the bat starting at a corner. Make sure no fibres are sticking to the tulle and if there are just gently brush them off. Place the tulle back on top and continue that rubbing process for another 5 or 6 minutes. This time when you take off the tulle place it to the side. If you want to have a straight edge on your mat now is the time to cut it with scissors. Ok now we're ready for the rolling. You place that second piece of bubble wrap over the top of the bat. Place the pool noodle on the edge and you roll that wool bubble wrap sandwich around the pool noodle. Secure with some old stocking pieces, tie them on each end and it keeps the roll together. Now start rolling the piece backwards and forwards in short motions. That equals one roll, the length of your hand. And as you roll move your hands across the pipe. 
then start longer rolls up to your arms towards your elbows. You continue this rolling for 50 rolls or about 7 minutes. Alternate between your short hand rolls and your longer arm rolling. After about 7 minutes, undo the stocking, unroll and turn the whole piece, including the bubble wrap, 90 degrees. Then you roll it all up again. We repeat the rolling process for about another 7 minutes. Now you repeat those last steps, turning your fabric 90 degrees and re-rolling. So all up, you should be rolling your piece for about 30 minutes. Check to see if your fibre has felted. You can pinch the fibre and it should stay together. If it's not staying together, you need to keep rolling. When your fibre has all felted, you can remove all the bubble wrap. Now this step is optional, but I usually do it. I place the wet felt piece into a clean plastic bag, just leave the top slightly open. Then you put it in the microwave for one minute. Take it out of the microwave and out of the bag and gently scrunch the felt piece in your hands. Now throw it down quite firmly onto a piece of bubble wrap on the table. Pick it up and continue throwing it down for a few minutes. This is where you'll notice that your piece will noticeably shrink. Now stretch the piece out by pulling firmly at opposite corners and edges. When the felt has dimples all over the surface like this, you know that it's finished. Finally we're going to rinse the felt in a bucket of warm water. You can add a dessert spoon of vinegar to that water, it helps to remove the soap. Gently squeeze out the water and then roll it out onto a towel, patting it down, squeezing out any excess water. Now lay your felted play mat out onto a dry towel. Place it in a dry, warm location. You can do it inside or outside. If it's outside, put it in the shade. The mats can take over 24 hours to dry completely. If you want to speed up the process, you can iron the piece. It helps to give the piece a nice flat finish. I have put them in the dryer before, but they tend to get a bit fluffy. Mm.